On my mama, man, size 16 is hard to cop. It's boat kicks. What's good, YouTube? It's your boy, Bo Kicks. Back with another review, look, whatever you want to call it. Uh, this pair is another assist from the base stylus. I'm going to hide her address. Of course, she already unboxed. I took a look at her pair, you know. So, I'm not really going to murk that box like I normally would. But the base styles with her lucky ass and pulling all these heat pairs, we going to get into it. By the way, sis, thank you for allowing me to pull a review out of a couple of these pairs. Let's check these out. UNC to Chicago. I could have sworn they were supposed to have like, a, what is it, like Unite paper or something? I don't know. But nonetheless, let's take a look at a fire pair. Getting into it, I did want this pair, but uh, and it did come in extended sizes. So they stopped at about a men's 15. I rock a 16 uh, when it comes to my Jordan ones. I should be trying to see if I could at least fit a 15, but I'd hate to pay for a pair that I want and realize the 15 don't really fit me. Um, one pair. To be uh, perfectly honest, that I, I really took an L on that that hurt me was the UNC to Chicago patent leather pair that came out last November. Take a look at that, and let's erase that, and let's take a look at what StockX wants for my size in that shoe. <clears throat> Man, I go with that. Let's get that out of there, and let's take a look at what the size 15 costs. Maybe, you know what I mean? So maybe I should go ahead and pull the trigger on these, pull out the, the sole insert, and see if I can squeeze my big ass feet in them, because definitely a pair I wanted. Uh, if I knew, like if that 15 worked out, and I knew a 15 would be good in Jordan 1s, which I'm, I'm not sure, because my toe comes to the tip of my Jordan 1s. Uh, yeah, I go through the size. They're comfortable, right to the toe. I don't know how much room it will be in a 15. But, you know, the old trick is to pull out the sole insert. So if I knew that pair fit, I would then grab these. I would then grab a pair of the court purples and a pair of the pot. Let's let this car pass. And yeah, and a pair of the pine greens that dropped also with the court purples originally from last year. No, was it last year? The year before that, 2018. Yeah. And I, I would really grab these too, you know what I mean? Uh, I just don't know. I don't want to buy spending a lot of money on a pair of shoes that ain't going to fit my big black ass. You did. So let's get into this pair. And I do think these are dope. Red bottoms. I like this this sole. That's, that's fire. Fire touch right there. Into the white midsole. Not a sale. I think, yeah, not a sale. That's white. Uh, leather feels real soft, man. It's buttery. Yeah, this is some good leather. Yeah, you got that UNC color on the, the back heel here. The Nike check also on the UNC. And following up the ankle, the Nike uh, or the Jordan Wings logo in black. But the ankle strap collar, UNC blue, black. And the quarter panel here, wrapping all the way around to the toe box. As you see there, soft at the tip of the toe, soft on the top of the toe. Nice. This this leather quality is butter. Red there, black tongue going up. Got the nylon tab, not a leather tab. Nike Air there. I do like the leather tabs though. That's just my personal preference. Uh, this don't bother me though, but I do like the leather tabs. Inside of the shoe, you got a red sole insert black Nike Air, nylon, and a sock liner. Uh, the medial or other side of the shoe, pretty much exactly the same. Fire leather on this, this pair, that's all that matters. You see the hang tag also on leather, which is clean because we don't always get a Jordan one with hang tags. So I like that, the Nike Air. 
tumble like a month. The tumble on it is fire, actually. This is a cold pair. I hope she don't sell these. Sometimes she get a pair and she be looking to flip. But I really hope she don't sell these. Fire pair. You see the back of the shoe here. These is cold. I be taking nails, y'all. Mainly because your boy got a big ass foot. You know, I don't, you know, I really don't, you know, it don't hurt me that bad, you know? But sometimes I just, <laughs> not nah, but for real, I'm always taking L's due to sizing. These are a dope pair. Tell me what you think in the comments about them. Did you pick them up? Um, I wouldn't have slept, definitely because they went up to a size 15 in men. How can you? I wouldn't have slept if they came in my size. Whatever, man, just because it's a woman's shoe that slept on them, you're tripping. Uh, cold ass pair. Uh, I don't really have much more to say. Thank you to Bay Stylist for letting me check out some of these sneakers. Until next time, give her a shout out in the comment section too, man. My girl got heat. Until next time, it's your boy Bo Kicks, and I'm gone.